What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday. And today we're covering the Mega Manetric Garboder deck. Now, I personally think this deck is really, really good for nationals. I think it's one of the sleeper picks that people really haven't been testing that much, but I think it does have a lot of answers to a lot of the decks in the metagame right now. Um, a lot of people say this deck is kind of slow. You can't really attack. So you have to get the link. You got to get the Mega Turbo and all that kind of stuff. But I still think this does have a lot of potential. And let's go over the deck and let's see what's it about. Also, you're probably noticing that my camera is in a weird spot. And it's probably a little bit higher picture quality, hopefully. If I did this right, everything should be like nicer looking everything like that. Uh, right now, I don't know how to set the webcam. I have these two huge monitors. I don't know where to put the web. I've been trying to find the best place to put the webcam. The best way to put the microphone as well. I know this probably seems weird. I'm not looking straight at the camera. The camera's like up here, so I want to look at it. It's like this, but then I can't see the screen. So uh, I'm going to try to figure out how to do this, and uh, we'll, we'll work on it. It'll be a couple, it might take a few, a few episodes, but we'll figure out how to set this up and everything like that. But let's go over the deck and let's see what's it about. Now, the main attacker is going to be this Mega Manetric card. Mega Manetric EX, it has 210 HP, and it has the attack Turbo Bolt. It does 110 damage, and you attach two basic energy cards. Frame discard pal to one of your bench Pokemon. So the deck is really cool. I mean, this Pokemon's really cool. It you know it only needs two energies, which is not that hard to do. It has two ten HP, so it's kind of tanky. And you can accelerate energies from your discard pile onto other Pokemon, which is really, really nice. We also have the Manetric EX as well. The overrun, 20 and 20 to a bench, and it's all for 60. And it's, if it has a tool attached, another 60 for 120 damage. Now, obviously... You can turn both onto uh, another Mega Manetric and kind of cycle between Mega Manetric because it has so much HP that they're not going to be able to one-shot it. And also, Mega Manetric has free retreat, which is really nice as well. All right, so some other attackers we have in the deck is Jolteon EX. Jolteon EX is really, really, really good. It has the attack flash rate. It does 70. It makes it where basic Pokemon cannot hurt Jolteon EX, which is really, really nice. Uh, if you're playing against a straight basic deck, like maybe Night March, or Dark Eye Giratina or something, you can use Flash Ray and make it where they cannot hurt your Jolteon. Now, they can license around your Jolteon, bring up other Pokemon, but you do play AZ, you can pick those Pokemon back into your hand, and also you can just not put down other Pokemon, you'll be A-OK -okay as well, which is really, really nice. And I do love Jolteon EX as well. I think it's a really good attacker, I think it's really strong in the metagame right now, and if you're playing a deck with Jolteon, I think you're going to have a little bit of advantage. I would play one Reiku as well. Um, one of the big decks right now is Water Toolbox, which has the Red Ice, which makes where EX Pokemon cannot hurt it. So you need an answer, and that is with Reiku. And Reiku is also just a, a solid attacker. Thunder Lance does 50, and this attack does 20 more damage for each Light Energy attached to this Pokemon. Uh, so once you have 3 energies attached to it, you can do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which is really, really nice. And it does have the Shiny Body body ability. It doesn't really matter that much to so play Garboder. But Shiny Body says if this Pokemon has any Light Energy attached to it, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. And obviously, we'll play a 2 2 Garboder line. Garboder has the ability Garbotoxin. If there's a tool attached to this, no uh, abilities can work, which is really, really, really nice. Uh, like, Giratina has the ability, oh uh, no, yeah, Giratina has the ability, which makes it where Megas can't hurt it. Um, Shaman setup, which a lot of decks do use. Uh, you shut down Greninja, because Greninja now can't use Water Shuriken, a giant Water Shuriken. They hit the lights of your Garbodor, have a Muscle Band, take a knockout that way. And I think this Garbodor is really, really strong right now, especially if your opponent doesn't play like Tulsk, or not Tulsk, or Megaphone or Zerosig. They can't get rid of your Garbodor, which is really nice. I think it's a really, really strong card. It can shut down so many decks once you get the Garbodor online. And also, we play two Shaman EX to help set up to get that turn to attack off pretty easily. Alright, so that's all the Pokemon in the deck. We play one Battle Compressor to discard three cards from our deck. Could be Supporter cards, could be Energies. Two Mega Turbos. Now, I think this is what's going to help us accelerate uh, Mega Manetric sometimes. Because, let's say turn one, you, you don't hit an Energy. You whiff an Energy. But turn two, you get the Mega out, you get attached, and a Mega Turbo owned to a Mega Manetric, which is really, really nice. Uh, one Super Rod, Shelf on three, combination of Pokemon and Basic Energies. This is most likely going to get Basic Pokemon, Pokemon back at your deck, maybe like Garbodor or Trubbish. But you can also get back your Reiku, maybe my Nectar Gift if needed. Uh, four Trainer Small, four Ultra Ball, four BS Secret. It's pretty much staples in almost every deck, and they're just really, really nice. Uh, one AZ, I already talked about this earlier, but you can either pick up a heavily damaged Pokemon and uh, put it back into your hand. You do have to discard all cards attached to it, so most likely you're discarding a Link and the Energies, but the Energies don't matter too much because you can recycle those with a Terra Bolt. One Lysander Ring of Pokemon off the bench. Three in, four Sycamore, and one Skyla. Now, the Skyla's really nice 
because you get search deck for any item or for any trainer card, which can give you the Bloodstone, the Link, the Mega Turbo, whatever you need. It's really, really nice, and I do love the one of Skyland here. Three rough seas to make your Mega Manetrix even more tankier because you can heal 30 damage from each of your Water and Lightning Pokemon, which is really, really nice, and I love rough seas. Uh, this actually kind of wins you like your uh, Trevenant matchup, like. Trendnet, you know, using Silent Fear, doing 30 everywhere, but you use Rough Seas, you can heal 30 from each of your Water Pokemon, I mean, each of your Lightning Pokemon, which is really, really nice. Uh, three Flowstone to make sure you get that Garbodor turned on, three Link, so that way you, when your turn does not end when you Mega Ball, and nine Lightning Energies. Now, the only card I kind of wanted here, besides these cards, is maybe a Max Potion, but sometimes that's not even needed as well. You could maybe cut, like, a Jolteon for a Max Potion, but I do love the two Jolteon to help you out against, like, Night March, uh... Darker Giratina, and I don't know, that's pretty much the only two, but those matchups are huge, and Jolteon just helps you swing those, those matchups so much. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully you enjoyed this deck breakdown. If you haven't tested this deck for Nationals, make sure you test it, but thanks for watching, guys, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, putting against Niall, Niall playing some kind of uh, Water Dragon deck, we'll call heads like always, let's see who goes first, and we lost the coin flow, so we'll be going second, but we could get an overrun off first. Uh, we just gotta get a trumpet down, set up the Garboder when we can, and all right. So we got a Manetric, a Jolteon. We have a lot of different options right in our hand. I guess the best option is the Manetric because we can attack with on turn one with the Overrun. And we're not sure what my opponent is playing, so I'm press done. Keep everything in my hand as of right now. Like if Jolteon is not useful, I'll probably just Ultra Ball discard it. We do play Super Rod, so we could stick more hand, draw in our hand of seven. There is a Noi Bat. So it looks like it's a Noi Vern deck. Now. Alright, so he head rings us, which makes it where we can't, we can't evolve, we have all of our turn hands now, because we can't put a spirit link on it, but, uh, if we get the Garboder out and play, it makes it where the echo location off the Noivern doesn't work, if you don't know, Noivern has an ability, echo, I think, no, it's not echo location, it's, I can't remember what it's called, but, you flip a coin to tells, the attack does nothing, I'm pretty sure that's what it does, uh, we see another Remarade coming down, okay. Uh, Rimmer hitting this field. The turn one headringer kind of stinks, but there's a Sycamore. Go and discard the hand. Draw on 70 guards, and let's see what does my opponent get. Can they find an energy for the turn? And there is a dark energy on that Noibat. Now, luckily, he since he put a, a, a headringer on us, we can't we can overrun now, which is bad. All right, so on our turn, we get a VS Seeker, which is something we really don't want to top deck. But I'm an Ultra Ball, discard Jolteon, and the Sycamore. And let's see what's in our deck. Is Super Rot in our deck? Of course, we're going to grab a Trubbish. We have another Garboder, which is great. Uh, Super Super Rod is in here, which is that's fantastic as well. Uh, the AZ is in here as well, which could be somewhat useful. I think right now we're just gonna grab a Trubbish, put down the Reiku, and then probably just Sycamore discard our hand, draw on seven new guards. So putting those guys down via Seeker for Sycamore, go and discard the hand and get seven new cards. Now can we find an energy attachment? Maybe a battle crest or a full stone to be great as well. Alright, so we got a Manetric. <laughs> we got a a lightning engine, this guy. Use Trainer's Mo. We'll grab the Mega Turbo. This could. Well, we can't. No, that, that's not very useful. Um, I'm actually just going to fail it. And I'm going to end my turn. What we can do next turn is Ultra Ball, discard the Trubbish or something else. Uh, get out the Garboder. <clears throat> get out Mega Manetric and start using Turbo Assault. There's a Noiver coming down with the Echo Location and the Boom Burst. Boom Burst is 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, luckily we do have the Rough Sea, so we could heal the 30 damage off these guys. The only thing is Garboder would not be healed. And neither will Shaman, which is kind of upsetting. But we see a Flowstone going on Rim Raid. Uh, Double Dragon. Wally to the Break. Alright, so the, the Break is going to be bad as well. I think the Break can actually knock us out. Uh, Sinker, Woofer, if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent's attack, does 80 more damage. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They will need a Muscle to knock us out. There's a Puzzle Time. Gonna rearrange top three cards of their deck. Or maybe they have two balls of time. Nope, just gonna rearrange top three cards of their deck. And looks like, is that gonna be the end of the turn? That'd be great. Yep, just a boom burst. Gonna do 30 everywhere. Okay. So on our turn, we get out a Ultra Ball. Some Ultra Ball, discard Ultra Ball and Trubbish. And with this, we're gonna get a Garboder out into play. Now, if we get a Flowstone on this Garboder, before our opponent gets down to Octillery, they can't use their uh, Abyssal Hand to draw cards. So let's use Shaman. Gonna set it for five new cards. This kind of is bad because the Shaman can't get me knocked out, but we do play the AZ. We see a Link. All right, this is a pretty good hand. A Link. Uh, Rough Seas. So we can heal that 30 from all of our Lightning Pokemon. Floatstone, this guy. And will AZ pick up the Shaman? 
Yeah, sure. Well, easy pick up the Shaman and just Mega Evolve. All right, so that's a pretty eventful turn. That's a pretty good turn. Uh, yep, yeah, that's good for us. All right, some opponent's turn. We got a Mega Manetric down. Now, the only thing is, next turn, we need hits a... When you put a Light Energy in the discard pile, getting Light Energy and find a... Uh, what is it? Find a, a Mega Turbo. That's going to be kind of hard next turn, but hey, I believe in us. Uh, we'll see what happens. My opponent's going to get an Octillery, but they can't use it right now because... We have the Garbota out, but they can use the uh, the Singer Woofer do a hundred do a ton of damage. And yeah, we're gonna see a Singer Woofer. What does that do? How much is it gonna do? 150. All right. So on our turn, what do we get? We get a Trainer's Mel. We'll play the Rough Seas. And with the Trainer's Mel, I'm looking for a Sycamore or a Via Seeker. Uh, looks like we did get the Via Seeker, so I'm gonna grab that. Press done. Yeah, we'll grab the Via Seeker for the Sycamore. I don't want to end my opponent because they only have two cards in their hand. So this Via Seeker for a Sycamore. Okay. Well, discard our hand. Draw on seven new cards, and I'll see what do we get. We're looking for a lightning energy at least. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we can't attack as of right now. We need an ultra ball. All right. So we're gonna put a lightning energy in this guy. We will free retreat into the manetric, and we'll just go for an overrun. Uh, gonna do twenty to I guess this guy. I don't know. Uh, we can already just one shot this guy regardless. Oh no, we're, it doesn't matter. Like he has, he, we have rough seas. The, the twenty damage just doesn't matter. Um, I guess we should have attacked on the Manetric EX, but I really don't want my Mega Manetric get knocked out due to a boom burst or for a single woofer. Another can't use it this turn. There's a Professor Birch's Observation. Let's see, does Birch let it down? Head, they'll get seventy cards. So three, six. If they play one card, they can use single woofer do a ton of damage to us. Uh, how much is, this guy has? A hundred and ten left. Okay. Alrighty, if we could top deck an Ultra Ball, we might be okay because we can make. No, we can't get attack off necessarily off right now. Well, no, we, yeah, we can. We can retreat this Manetric EX, Mega Turbo to this guy, put a Lightning G, and we can knock it out this turn, which is great. And we have Garboder, so it's going to shut off the uh, Echo. No, yeah, Echo Location. I have the, the, the ability right from the start. Echo Location, and any damage done to the Pokemon by attacks, uh, flip a coin if has to prevent that damage. There's 150 damage coming down from Seeker Woofer, but on our turn, we get a Lightning Energy. So I'm going to do. Rough seas. I'm going to free retreat this Manetric. Send the Mega Man. Uh, turbo. <laughs> put an energy on the active. We'll put a light energy on the active. And we will use Turbo. It will knock out this Millie Baron. And now the opponent is going to be a tough spot. They don't. Uh, we don't have any energies in the discard pile. Sorry about that. But we'll take one prize card. And now my opponent does not have a Millie Baron set up. There's a Spear Leak. So we can put down this guy. Spear Leak it. Probably put a Lightning Gen on that guy since this one has so much HP dealt to it already. Uh, but Octillery coming up. It does have the Flow Stone. It does have free retreat, which is nice for my opponent. But the only downside is it does get one-shotted because it only has 90 HP. And there we see a Victor Screen come down. My opponent realizing, like, hey, I can't do anything. My Echo Location is shut off because they're Garboder. I can use Boom Burst, but it doesn't really matter. You have the Rough Seas. And there we go. That was a pretty good game. Even though we were Turn 1 Head Ringer, we were still... Good to go, guys. But there we go. We went getting the game, getting the game with the Manetric Garfoder deck. And let's see what is our mystery prize. Twenty-five tokens. But we'll see what happens in the next game, and hopefully, it's another great game. All right, we're playing against Super Spencer, playing a Grass Lightning Dark and something else. And let's see what's going to happen. They're calling the Coin Club, and we won the Coin Club, so we'll be going first, which is great. Uh, we have a turn to get down a Manetrics, put some Lightning Energy on it, get down Trubbish, Floatstone. Uh, but this hand is not the best unless we top deck an Ultra Ball. If we top deck an Ultra Ball, we can get a minute a minute to get out and play. All right, there's a, a wide lens. Ooh, that's spicy. Wide lens makes it where if you hit the bench, it hits for weakness. All right, so I'm excited. Uh, unless they play Fighting Pokemon, it really doesn't matter that much. I don't even know what Fighting Pokemon can hit the bench though. Uh, Landers EX, but that's not even legal. Oh uh, yes, we'll draw a card. It's a Flowstone and a Jolteon. Alright, so it looks like we're playing against a uh, Vesquiv Bopham deck, maybe? If I had to take a random guess, that's what I put it out. Uh, but we'll put down Rough Seas. And we're just going to Sycamore, discard our hand, draw 70 cards. We could put a Lightning on the active, but it pretty much is useless. Okay, so we get that on Trubbish. Trade is well, we're looking for an Ultra Ball. Uh, oh my goodness. Alright, so we'll grab a Floatstone. And the Floatstone is great because if, if my opponent gets a, a Trubbish, a Garboder down next turn... We can at least shut down their abilities, or shut down the Vile Boom. So we'll put a Lightning on the active, and we'll just end our turn. Um, yeah, that seems right. fine. Onto my opponent's turn. If we find this Garboder, and they get a Vile Boom, we can shut them down, which is great. All right, so let's see. What does my opponent do? If they're playing Vesca Vile Boom, their turn one is going to be quite a, quite a second in uh, 
we'll sit here and just see what happens, but this could be a... I mean, the wide lens makes it interesting, so I, I really don't think it's Vesco Valpum. Like, as, if it's Vesco Valpum, why are they playing wide lens? There's an end coming down. We're both going to show up our hand to deck and draw six new cards, okay? Uh, next time we could go for a Swift. Uh, I know it's not a lot, but hey, it's something. Uh, we get an Ultra Ball. Do we have a Sycamore? Okay, yeah, we, we should be fine. There's a Combi coming down, okay? And let's see, we get Ultra Ball discard one, two. Ultra Ball discard one, two. Get the Garboder out in line. Get the Garboder out, which could be great. I uh, can shut down my opponent's abilities. Like, maybe they have a Shaman. Maybe they have something else. We'll be okay. We see a DC going on that guy, okay? And what else do they have? Just a pass onto our turn. All right. So I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard the Rough Seas and the AZ. And the only th bad, bad thing about this turn is we're pretty much not going to have any more Ultra Balls left. We're going to grab a Manetric EX. Put down Manetric EX. Use Ultra Ball, discard Ultra Ball and Lysander. And with this, we'll grab a Garboder. We could go for a Shaman, but I re I'm not, I don't really want to. I'm fine. We're just, uh, I really don't get, want to give my opponent easy knockouts. So we'll put down the Garboder. Use Via Seeker. Force Sycamore, going to discard the hand and draw seven new cards. Let's say, what do we get? All right, so we get a Lightning Energy. We get a Manetric down. And I'm just going to go for a Swift. I'm not going to use the Trainer's Mail just yet, because if we use the Trainer's Mail, I guess we should have went for, I, mean, I don't know. I, we could have went for an Overrun, but I really don't want my Manetric EX to get knocked out for some re weird reason. Um, but we could have used Trainer's Mail, but I'd rather draw a card and then Trainer's Mail before to dig deeper into the deck. We see an Eevee coming down, so it's definitely not best good Bob Bloom. But since we have the Garboder online, my opponent can't use like Vaporeon or Flareon or stuff like that because the Garbo Toxin shuts that down, which is really, really nice. Uh, makes it where they can't use like Blacksmith onto the Vesma Queens, which we see Vesma Queen coming down onto the field. Now, my opponent did attach a DC to this guy. We'll see if a retreat to the EV. Uh, DC to that guy, and we'll probably see a pass on to our turn. All right. So, we get a trainer's mill. We'll play it. We've got top four cards of our deck. Um, do we even need any of these cards? I don't think so. So, we'll press done. Yeah. All right. We'll try it again. Trainer's mill number two. Okay. We'll grab it in. But I think I'm just going to sit right now. I really don't want to play the end. I'm just going to Mega Evolve to end our turn. If you notice, last turn, my opponent didn't play a supporter card. So I'd rather just Mega Turbo onto the Me Mega Manetric. Take the knock on the EV and make my opponent in a weird position. Unless they get a supporter card this turn, then I'll play the end. But if they don't hit a supporter card, I'm fine with just holding onto his. Uh, use a Turbo Bolt to knock him out. But there is a Sycamore coming down. Okay. So we're going to see Sycamore. They're going to discard their hand, draw seven new cards. This is a flow stone going to the active, and they might be able to take a knockout this turn. Just maybe. Uh, but I'm still curious. As oh, There's the wide lens I'm talking about. What Manda Buzz, this tech does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability. And they hit for weakness 120. That would be pretty funny. Uh, oh, that's actually really cute. Okay, so I think with Manda Buzz, the plan is to do 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability to it, which, of course, is Shaman EX. You can buy this with Wildlands to hit for weakness, and they have a Jolteon, which makes Mandibus a lightning type. So that way they can snipe your, your Shaman EXs off the bench. That is a really cool play with that Mandibus. And there is the Jolteons I was just talking about to make their uh, their Mandibus lightning energies to knock out a Shaman EX. That's a really, that's a really, really good idea. That is that's a really good idea. Uh, but there's a Shaman EX coming into their hand, but they can't play this right now because we have a Tark. We have a Floatstone on this guy. We see a Tark Whistle bringing out a Jolteon EX, and will my opponent play the Shaman? If they do, there's a Wild Lens going to Best Queen. Oh my goodness, they played down the Shaman, but they can't use it because Garboder is down with the Floatstone. It doesn't, it doesn't seem my opponent had, has noticed this, and they receive a Streak coming out. My opponent realizing like, hey, I can't do anything. I have a bad hand. <laughs> and the Tark Whistle seems, that's, that's, that's such a creative deck right there. Best Queen, Mandibuzz, Jolteon. That's a really, really cute deck. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a really uh, creative deck. Using the Mandibuzz for sure. But there you go. We were set to go. Next turn, we're going to Mega Turbo owns his Me Me Metric EX. Let's look at my opponent's deck real quick. 2-2 uh, two, two, Jolteon with the 3-3 three, three Mandibuzz. This is a really, really interesting card. Uh, only 3-3 three, three Best Queen, 2 Evasol, 1 Friday Night. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different deck. I haven't seen something like this before. 2 Target Whistle, uh, 3 Wildlands. That's really, really cute. I like that a lot. Especially with the Target Whistle and the... The Manda Buzz, that's so, that's so nice. That's so cool. Oh my goodness, that's really neat. Uh, there you go, guys. There's, so, there's a creative deck right there. I've, I've never seen something like this before. Uh, yeah, that's really nice. I mean, they got four Trainers Mall, four VS Seeker, four Ultra Ball. Uh, yeah, so there, there you go. If you want to test the deck out, go ahead and test it out. Seems really nice. So, uh, 
I guess test out this Mandibus, Jolteon, Vespa Queen, Eva Tall deck. Uh, but we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. We proved that Garbodor was really, really great. And since we did put down that Shame in the X, my opponent couldn't use Mandibus. But regardless, they couldn't have even uh, hit it for weakness because the Jolteons were not going to be able to work. They didn't play any Xerxic or Megaphone, so they couldn't get a flow zone off our guys. But we'll see what happens in the next game. All right, you're putting against Blancachu, Blankachu, playing a Water and a Colors deck. This could be a Water Toolbox deck. Um, I'm not sure how this goes, but we won the coin flip. We'll be able to go first, uh, which is great. I guess getting down, like, the Garbodo would be really, really great against my opponent because they can't use, like, Manaphy and stuff like that. We get down Double Trubbish, which is great. And we got an old while We get this card in, and the Lysander seems like the internet uh, PTCO is glitching. And not, not, not my computer, just PGCO in general. Uh, trust me, we're, we're, we're doing great right now, computer-wise. Alright, so Double Trubbish out in the field. Uh, we got an Old Twelve, we can discard in a Lysander, get out a Minetric EX, and there's a Kangaskhan. A Kangaskhan. Okay, uh, we'll Old Twelve discard the in and a Lysander. With this, we get out a Minetric EX. Uh, come to me, Minetric EX, okay. We'll put down the Minetric EX, we'll use the Trainer's Mall, looking for a Floatstone or a Link, and there is a Link that's great to help us get the turn to Mega Minetric. We'll put that down here, and we will be a Secret Forward in to shuffle our hands to deck and draw six new cards. Now at this end, we're looking for, obviously, Floatstone or an Energy Attachment. If we don't hit those... Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard Double Jolteon. I don't know how useful those are going to be. Either way, I think we have, do we have Super Rod in the deck? We do. Okay, so we have Super Rod. I'm going to grab a Shaman. And with this, I'm going to put down Manetric, put down Reiku, and I'm going to Shaman setting up for six new cards. Keeping the Skyla in our hand. Uh, I guess we could have maybe Ultra Ball discarded Skyla, but there's a Lightning Energy we could put on this guy. Um, And what's... I mean, yeah, yeah I'm going to end my turn on my opponent's turn. Uh, once again, I, w I really want to hold it to the Trainer's Mall, draw a card, maybe be like a VS Seeker or something. We could Ultra Ball for Garboder. Uh, I mean, regardless, we have a great turn, too. We have an Ultra Ball. We can get out of Mega Manetric. We have another Light Energy. If we hit, if we tied like a Garboder, and, let's see, we tied like a Floatstone. I don't know. Well, I think we can get a, I, I think we can get off a Garboder, Mega Manetric next turn. What the Floatstone, since we have Skyla in our hand. But the only downside is we don't have anything else in our hand to do. Uh, we see a Water Energy going to the active, okay? We see a Skylar, they're going to search the deck for any uh, trainer card, and let's see what they decide to get. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even sure why opponent is playing. This could be just kind of a fun kind of deck. Nothing really serious. Uh, but let's see if the Skylar does get the Blancachu. Blancachu, we see a Pokemon Fan Club coming down, okay? Uh, uh, ooh, a Glaceon. Oh, baby, that could be interesting. Alright, so we see a triple draw. I'm going to draw three cards. Alright, so on our turn, let's see what's going to happen. There's a Super Rod. Alright, so we can Ultra Ball. Discard one, two, to get a Mega Manetric. Uh, let's train your smell. And AZ. Alright, we'll grab the AZ. I want to Ultra Ball. Discard the Skyla. Oh, man. Like, I kind of want to keep the Skyla to get a Flowstone, but then we might be able to draw one. Yeah, I'm going to discard these two. <laughs> and with this, I'm going to grab a Mega Manetric. Okay. How many Flowstones are in the deck? There's three Flowstones. Alright, so we'll grab Mega Manetric. We'll put that guy down here. We'll put a, a light energy on the Mega Manetric. We'll AZ, pick up the Shaman, and we'll put it back down to draw five new cards. Can we find a Floatstone or not? It's a big question. So let's see the Shaman. We're going to set it for five new cards. And we got the Floatstone. That's great. So we'll put a Floatstone on this guy. We'll free treat into the Mega Manetric. And do we have... We have one light energy. So we're going to Turbo Bolt for one light energy. Uh, the only downside is we did not find a Garboder, which I don't know how, how much is going to really matter. And I'm going to put a Lightning Gem on the Reiku. And the reason why is if they get this Crystal Ray Glaceon powered up, we need a way to attack it because it can't be hurt by evolutions, which means Mega Miniature cannot hurt it. We see a Pokemon Fan Club coming down. Go to search the deck for two, uh, two or three. Uh, two basic Pokemon to build them and put it into their hand. Now, we're going to see what they're going to attack with. Is it other Water Pokemon? Is it a Water Toolbox deck with the Kangaskhan? Uh, that'd be really strange. I just have a feeling, yeah, there's a Red Ice and a Manaphy. Once again, since we have the Reiku, we can get around the Reg Ice, uh, which is really great. They can't really one-shot a, a Reiku. It has 120 HP, which is great. Uh, 70 and 70, so that's not a knockout. We'll see a water on that guy. And let's see what else does my opponent have. Now, do we need to use a Super Rod next turn? Not really. Jolteon's not really helpful. We just need to find a supporter card. 
We have we played one VS Seeker, no Juniper, one in, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We see a triple draw. Gonna draw three more cards, okay? And on our turn, we get a Garboder. So we'll put down the Garboder, and this makes it where Kangaskhan can not oh wait, we're gonna take a knockout regardless, that's what I'm talking about. I'll uh, put a light into this guy, and we'll just turbo for the knockout. Do it 110 damage, okay? And, yep, there's no energies in this Garpal. That's okay, Pokemon. You don't have to be sorry. That just happens sometimes. We'll take a Shaman and a Trainer's Mode. The Trainer's Mode is what we really, really need. We need to somehow find a Supporter card. Uh, but let's see. Right now, Jolteon's doing... Or, Reiki's doing 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which is not a knockout yet on the Red Ice. We'll need two more turns to attack. There's a Red Ice coming up, and oh, it's my opponent's turn. Let's see what they decide to do. Now, um... <clears throat> let's see... I guess the best play is just, like, to attach energy and Turbo Bolt again, or, I don't know. That's probably the best thing to do right now. I really don't want to put down this Rough Seas until we need it, because if we put down the Rough Seas going to my opponent's turn, then they can just heal that 70, or the damage from the Reiku, which is pretty bad. Uh, but we'll see what does my opponent decide to do. My opponent can't retreat this Red Dice either. They need a DC to attack this turn. They could go for an Ice Beam, which does 30, which I'm not too concerned about. It does give it an extra turn to power up the Reiku, because we can attach a Lightning, and then attach another Lightning. And then we'll look at A-OK. -okay. The only thing is we really can't knock out this Glaceon straight away. But then Turbo will do 130. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, there's a DC going down to the active, so we'll see a Resistant Blizzard doing 70 damage. Now, we somehow get a, a Lysander. I'm going to bring up this, uh, this Glaceon. And my opponent will need a DC to retreat it. And if they don't hit a DC, we could then knock it out with another Turbo Bolt, which would be great. So let's see what does our opponent decide to do. Can they find anything or not? There's a fighting through about going down to the active, which makes it have 160 HP. Makes it a little bit harder for us to knock it out, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. But I, we might be okay. We'll see. We will see. But Resistance Blizzard is not going to knock us out straight away. And we're going to hold on. Oh, there's a Lysander. Bring it up the Reiku. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is not good for us. Alright, let's see. They're going to resist Blizzard for 70, okay? Alright, so 80 damage because 5 Reaper. Alright, on to our turn. We get a Flowstone, so we can put down the active. We can train as well. I'm looking for a, a VS Seeker. Okay, so there's a VS Seeker. And I think I'm going to go for that play. I'm going to VS Seeker, bring up that Glaceon. Yeah, I think that's the best play right here. Will, will I see to bring up that Glaceon? We'll put down the Rough Seas. We'll heal the Reiku. Okay. Free Treat. Into the Mega Manetric. Lightning to this guy. Can he get knocked out next turn? He can. So that's the only downside. If they somehow retreat and have another Lysander, this Reiku will get knocked out. So 110 damage. Uh, no more Lightning Injuries, I know. So 110. So they can heal, bring it up to 90, but then Turbo still knocks it out, which is great for us. And then we could potentially, well, we still can't knock out this, this Red Eyes because of the Fighty Kribo, which is very upsetting. But hey, we might be okay. Uh, we do need to find some more Lightning Injuries, but. If we attack the, the Red Ice first with our Reiku, then we'll actually knock it out before my opponent does, which is great. And now opponent can't retreat this Glaze down either, unless they have a DCE. If they have a DCE, then we're in trouble. There's a Tierno. We're going to draw three cards, okay? And let's see, what does Blanket you have? There's a, another King's Kong coming down the field, which is great. There's another Lysen targets for us. Uh, Water Engine on that guy. And it looks like we might see a pass. Unless they have a Switch, a Flowstone. Rough Seas coming down, which doesn't matter at all for us. And a pass onto our turn. That's great. So we get a BS Seeker. I'm going to Rough Seas. And I'm going to BS Seeker for an N. And the reason why we use an N is because I don't, well, we don't have a Sycamore, first of all. But I don't want a Sycamore discard our Super Rod. We need to keep that to maybe heal our Reiku. So we're going to play an N, gush up our hands and deck and draw four new cards. And there we go. We get a Lightning Energy, which is perfect. Uh, you can put it on the Reiku. Okay. And we'll use Turbo Bolt for the Knockout. Let's bring it to 190. We'll go down to two prize cards, and I'm tempted to just bring out that King's Con and go for another uh, Turbolt and just kind of keep it stuck in the active as well. But there's a Battle Quester and an N, all right? And King's Con just comes up to the active spot regardless. Okay, I'm fine with this. Like, you, my opponent probably should have sent Red Ice. There's a DC go to that guy. They might go to, for a Kingdra Kick, fighting three belt to the active as well. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, Pokemon Fan Club, going to search for two. Uh, water Pokemon most likely because they are playing a water deck, but I'm okay with the situation. We can uh, use Thunder Lance. We have, like, my point is playing, like, the deck that should beat us. Like, they're playing Glaceons, makes it where Evolutions can't hurt them, and Red Ice makes it where uh, EX Pokemon can't hurt them. Uh, we see King Trick, Hidden Tails, only doing 80 damage, okay? On our turn, we get a Rough Seas. We'll heal the Manetric. We'll put down Garboder. 
put down another flow stone. We will battle crest here with this. We're going to discard some lightning energies. Hopefully there's some in here. And there is two lightning energies. And we'll discard a useless card. The shame is pretty much useless right now. I hate to say that. But my baby is kind of useless. And we're just going to go for a Turbolt. Um, yeah. That's probably the best play. Turbolt. And we're going to put two lightning energies on this Reiku. And now we pretty much have the game sealed up. If my opponent retreats his Reg Ice, we can knock it out. Uh, it'll do 170 damage. We'll knock out this Reg Ice, which is great. Um... We can actually just one shot this Glaceon, and we can just uh, we can't one shot the Kangaskhan if we have one more energy. There we see a wide energy on that guy. He needs to shoot this Kangaskhan into somebody, but if he if he doesn't end us, we have a VS to get for life center, bring it to Glaceon, taking a knockout, and there we see a treat into the Red Ice. We're probably gonna see a Resistant Blizzard going to hit us for 70 or 80, sorry, uh, which we're still gonna be okay. We'll have 80 HP left. But what we can do next turn is via Seeker for a license or bring that Glaceon, taking a knockout. They receive a Stevens, and we're pretty much going to win this game. Thunderlance does 20 more damage for each Lightning Energy attached to this Pokemon. We have 6 attached to it, which is 120, plus 50 is 170. They need to find a Fighting Fury about to put on this Glaceon. If they do not, they are going to lose this game. And yep, there's a Resistance Blizzard. Going to do 80 damage, but that's okay with us. Uh, I'm going to heal just to get that bonus additional healing. So there we go. Well, via Seeker... <coughs> For Lysander, we will bring up that Glaceon EX, free treat into the Reiku, and we'll take the knockout in the game. And there you go. There is the uh, Mega Manetric Reiku Garboder deck. And I think this deck is still really, really strong, as you see. I mean, these three games were okay. The game one, we definitely got down the, uh, the Garboder to shut down the, uh, what is it, the Noivern. Game two, we got the Garboder down to shut down the Shaman and the Mandibus and stuff like that. And not, not so much the Mandibus, but the Jolteon. To break that combo in this game, we had, you know, this answer to his Red Giants, so an answer to his Glaceon, and as you see, this deck is really, really good. I do love this deck a lot. I think it does have a lot of strong potential for a national. So if you haven't tested this deck, make sure you test it. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you update. Hopefully you enjoyed the new video. Hopefully I made it look a little bit better. Hopefully the mic sounds okay as well. But thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Monday. Alrighty. Alright guys, just want to give a quick shout out to our two sponsors, 60 Cards and Yeti Gaming. The links are down below to their websites. Make sure you go check them out. Alrighty.